plate umpire liked it. it. Said it was on the black and gives us a chance to highlight our ump. Says here comes the 0-2 pitch. Swing and a miss, strike three. First strikeout in the books for Roseboom. We told you he's fifth all time in upstate history. Had 162 coming in. Or two innings ago, runner moving, and on the hit and run, Williams lofts it into right. This may be two with the runner so far off the bag. Nice job by Lesh. The pick is there for Kreider, and the Spartans have doubled up to come away with three runs. Here's the 2-2. Two -two. Inside corner, called strike three, frozen at the plate in disbelief. In a bit as we've worked our way later into the afternoon, knowing there's a double dip today. Plenty of baseball for them to take advantage of. Here's a chopper towards short. All kind of trouble for Barron. Rounding third is Weber. He will score the first upstate run. And putting it in play, Daniel Seba delivers. That's going to go as a single. The former Wren Hurricane is delivered. He lines this one out toward right. Looks like it's going to drop. It will. They will send the runner Dowling. There will be no throw. And the Spartans have cut the lead in half with back-to-back -back two out singles before the Spartans scored those two runs in the bottom of the fourth. It's a four-run lead for LaSalle. That's where it will stay as they get the punch out. Third strikeout of the day for Roseboom. He gets Welling with the lead. Here's the 2-2, lined toward right center field, backing up the right fielder. It's going to be off his glove and over his head. Coming home to score, the first run of the inning is Lesh. Following him is Kreider and coasting into third base after bringing home a couple more is Stephen Dowling. He battled, and in the end, he comes away victorious with a two RBI triple with two down. And his fourth overall appearance. And that looks a little more like the David Rose boom we're used to seeing. Gets a wave of the bat from Kevin Barron, and he takes down the nine and one slots. Here's the two one. This one's driven toward left, high and deep. Backing up the left fielder, it's going to be over his head. This should score both the runs, and we are going to be tied on a double by Eric Samples. They were shading him toward the center field side with Conroy, and there was no way with as much wood as Eric Samples got on the baseball that time. He reached on an error in the fifth and came around to score. And he's going to line one toward the left center field gap. This is going to be all kind of trouble for LaSalle. The Spartans are going to have their first lead at a score of 7-6 to six as Zach Kreider, the freshman, trades places with Eric Samples, the junior, and the Spartans are out in front. The LaSalle team was looking for their second win, and it appeared for the moment they may get it. Here's a ball going to be handled perfectly by Savakinas on the the fielding part of it, but he throws it away, trying to get it to the shortstop Barron at second, covering for the force play, and the Spartans will increase their lead to 8-6 now. Here's a 3-1. This one's driven towards center. Smith Jr. on his horse. He looks up. This is going to one-hop the wall. The Spartans are going to make it at least 9-6. They'll send the trailing runner, and it'll be 10-6 upstate. Still in this inning. Welling with five RBIs on the season, looking for more. He liked the look of that pitch coming in, but pretty good breaking stuff from Berkland, and Welling realized too late there was no way he was going to be able to make contact. And, but in just trying to describe the action to you, we were setting the stage for you. As here's a ground ball towards short, going to be all kinds of trouble for Barron, and that's going to be the second error of the inning, and that has to just really frustrate that first base dugout and Mike Lake and company as – 12, but they trail by two. Here's the payoff pitch. Swing and a miss. Strike three, and Jordan Miller will end the ninth inning the same way he started it with a punch out. That is the 27th out, and USC Upstate improves to 7-8 and eight on the season.